Hey folks, welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. We're heading to northern Wisconsin to fish the willow foliage. This is phenomenal. Massive Slavosaurus, big butt Tuscalungo. Hey guys, I got an 11 pounder. Look at that thing, man. Oh, oh no. Look at the tummy on that thing too, that's a, buddy. That's a toad. Yes, folks, for 25 years, I have enjoyed the experience of coming up to northern Wisconsin and fishing with guy Jeff Winters. And, and Jeff, one of the things that I love fishing with you about is the fact that you fish the foliages. And today we're on the willow foliage. And tell the folks, this is just a gorgeous body of water, isn't it? Yeah, you know, the willow foliage is almost all wilderness. There's only a couple houses on this thing. You know, you got forest, wildlife, and plenty of fish, which is important. And you get away from a lot of crowds. Tell me a little bit about the fishing. The fishing is, is a real diverse fishery. You know, what makes it, I think it's the best one we have here in northern Wisconsin overall because it stays good all year long. So, Who's our guest here? This is my customer and friend, Jeff Joswiak. Jeff, good to see Thank you today. You, and, and we got our assistant guide today, your son in law. My son in law, Ed. Ed. Hey, want to tell the folks one thing. You're coming up here to uh, northern Wisconsin in May. Bring all your clothing, right? From shorts to snowmobile suits, you never know what you're going to need, and you might need both in the same day. Well, I'm wearing my ice fishing outfit today, man, in the middle of May. What's the deal here? It was 19 yesterday. Well, it's not 19 today. It's 37, and we're going to catch some fish, right? You know it. All right. Hey, folks, the show we're using and how we're using it, all of that coming up right after this. The outboards that are changing everything. Get all the thrilling performance of an Evan Rood E-Tech G2. Now from 150 to 300 horsepower. Bass fishing's fun, but half of these tournaments is like a boat race, I'm trying to beat everybody down the lake. And with that Evan Rood E-Tech G2, it's like driving a Corvette. That thing is passing everybody. And now, for a limited time, Evan Rood's Run Fearless sales event includes eight years of coverage on all E-Tech engines and accessories. This is a whole other level. The G2 is awesome. For details, visit EvanRood.com. Hey Josh, you had a chance to run the Evan Rood E-Tech G2. What did you think? Oh, it was awesome. It was, I loved it. A lot of power, more power than the other engines. Yep. Out of the hole, it's incredible. And you get 17% better gas mileage. And you're actually thinking about switching? I think I am gonna switch. I had a lot of problems with mine last year and I'm thinking about going with the Evan Rood. The Evan Rood is an awesome engine. And by the way, folks, right now, you get eight years of extended coverage. Wow. I mean, nobody else in the industry is offering that right now. And that offer ends June 30th. And the cool thing is, the eight years of coverage means that if you sell your boat after one or two years, the guy who buys it gets that coverage. Really? Yeah, nice. that's pretty that's cool. Great. Yeah. So you're going to switch? I think so. You have a choice. Turf or surf. It's fishing season. Welcome to the outdoors. We're baiting, casting, drifting, and limiting out. The outdoors never felt so good. Catch, release, and keepers. The outdoors never tasted so good. It's fishing season. We are outdoors. Mills Fleet Farm. Hey folks, Yamaha and Mills Fleet Farm have teamed up to give away a brand new Kodiak 700. The Kodiak 700 is an awesome machine with an unbeatable mix of performance, workability, and real world value. Starting at only $69.99. Folks, there's three ways to enter. You can enter at any Mills Fleet Farm. You can enter online at GillespieFishing.com or you can text to enter at 797979. You can win the Kodiak 700 with its class leading power and durability. And by the way, it's assembled right here in the USA. Hey, welcome back, folks. As I mentioned at the top of the program, fishing the willow flowage up in Oneida County with guy Jeff Winters. And folks, I'll tell you what, it's interesting today. Middle of May, I'm wearing my clam ice fishing jacket. I'm wearing gloves, 37 degrees, and we left the landing. But Jeff, this time of the year, you like to fish the kind of the shallow wood. And tell the folks, you're just using a regular old jig and minnow? Yep, I just my trusty jack's jig, and away we go. We should catch all the fish we need. Now, when you're fishing wood, do you use a weedless jig? Yes, and that, but one thing I do on a weedless jig is I trim the hairs back a little bit. Uh -huh. uh, it seems to get you a little better hook set. Got him. All right, good job there, Jeff. Good sizes, buddy. All right, could be a keeper. All right, way to go there, pal. 
And here he comes, and we got ourselves a He's nice close. walleye, little guy there. Yeah, about a 14 and yeah. a half or That's 14. That's one thing we should tell the folks, uh, Jeff. You go through a lot of small fish to get your keepers, don't you? Which is fun. Yeah. As long as you're catching them, you know, the keepers take care of themselves. Here we go in the back of the boat there, Jeff. You got a walleye? I think it's a walleye. It's fighting like a walleye. Oh, yeah, nice fish. There we go. And we got him. And, and you know, I'll it. tell you what, folks, Jeff always laughs at me because uh, I like to use the plastic. But I'll tell you what, I think sometimes the bigger fish hit the plastics. And the nice thing is, Jeff, by the way, look at where that Kalen's Jerko is there, Ed. Can you see it? Barely. Barely. I'll tell you what, that fish was hungry. But sometimes the, the plastic really works well on, on the flowages, doesn't it? You know, when those fish are up shallow and when they get aggressive, they lo they'll love it. They'll also hit spinners, like little like MEPS type things with bucktails. Right. They hit those and crankbaits. Got him. Nice one, Jeff. We oh, got him. <laughs> Feel pretty good? Nah, it feels a little small. It's a little walleye. I can see him. Well, that's kind of, you know, I'll tell you what, folks, this is just like fishing up in Canada when you get on these foliages. Here he comes. Yep. But, <laughs> you know, but uh, you really concentrate on the shorelines type of walleye fishing, which I think is unique to a foliage. But these shorelines, every cast looks so good, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, look at the structure here. You got trees, you got weeds, you got grass, everything you could want. Hey, Jeff, what do you got up there, buddy? A uh, little walleye. Okay, there we go. And it, uh, you know, it is interesting that these walleyes actually, you'll find a bunch schooled up along the shoreline sometimes, huh? Yeah, um, quite a bit. If you find one, there's usually two or three. Like, this one's really close to 15. Yeah, and they're delicious out of here, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Bright white and tasty. <laughs> here we go in the back, and here he comes. Oh, what you got there, there John? Go. There's a nice walleye, folks. That one hit three times, Jeff, when he was coming in. I felt the first tick, and I, and he wasn't there. Kept it bouncing a little bit, felt the second tick, and the third time he took it. And uh, that's a real nice legal. That's legal. And you know what? These are such pretty colored fish on this body of water. The real nice dark gold color, Jeff. And you know, we're in May now, and you and I were just kind of talking a little bit later on. These floyages are really good fishing in the, in the heat of summer too, aren't they? Yeah, and you know, the hotter it gets, the shallower the fish seem to go. So it, it turns into a, just a turkey shoot at times out here. No, that sounds really interesting to me that the, you know, in that 70, high 70 degree water temps, that these fish will still use the shorelines. Now, well, you've been with me up on a turtle flambeau. I have. And uh, I remember the first time we ever filmed, you couldn't believe where we were finding fish. And mention to the folks too, you guide the, not only the willow, but the turtle flambeau. You grew up on that body of water. Right. Turtle flambeau is home to me. So I know that one well. Those walleyes out there can run, but they can't hide. All right, Jeff, what do you got there, buddy? I got a walleye. And you were casting out there, huh? Yep. All right, here comes trusty Ed with the Frabel. He's a legal. There you go, Jeff. And that was casting out. Yes, uh, well, there's a point there. Oh, okay. And I was picking them up off the bar. Nice okay. little fish there at about yeah, 16. Yeah, that is. And that's on the jig and minnow. Yep. John's got one, too. I got one here John's in the back. John's got one, too. I got one in the back. Yeah, oh, there we go. That, that's an eater-sized pike right there, isn't it, Jeff? That is. That is a perfect size to eat. And if you can grab them there and hold them up, that would be appreciated, Ed. I can't get past around this seat here. Um, but the pike swimming around with, with, with the uh, walleyes is interesting. But now, uh, even on a pike this size, and you shouldn't feel guilty about cleaning them, you'll get some nice fillets, right, Ed? There's so many of these in here, nothing wrong with taking them out. And, and tell the folks how good pike are to eat. I'll put them up against the walleye any day. I will take them over the walleye any day. And what you do is just take these two, these back straps here and this strap, and you take the Y bones out. Exactly. And do you clean them? Absolutely. Really? Well, then keep them. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Ed, that was a heck of a hook set and a nice walleye. Oh, Ed's no flipping a walleye there, Ed. Did you learn that from me? You know it. Oh, no, that isn't. That that was fun. You know what is amazing to me, folks? I, I'm obviously catching fish on plastic, but you guys with the jigs and the minnows are really having to let these fish go for a long time before you set the hook, huh? I felt this fish and counted to 25. Really? And uh, can you tell at all when you put a little bit of pressure on them if they've got it? or you just have to guess and wait? Today, I'm guessing. Yeah. It's a guessing game today. 
Yeah, there we go. Walleye, you think? This one feels better. Okay, this could be a walleye. Now you're not going to do the flip in here. Jeff, can you hand me that Frabo, buddy? I don't think I'm going to flip this. Oh, no, that's a nice walleye. That's a beauty there, buddy. There you go. I'm going to flip know, if we don't oh. hurry. Well, we're coming, we're coming. Here comes our net man. And good job. There you go. There is a beautiful fish right there. And it is, you know, we keep going back and forth, folks, along this same shoreline, which Jeff said is a good idea. And uh, we're picking up, what, one or two every time we go by a spot, right? They're coming pretty regular now. Every pass, we pick up at least one. Yeah. And, and Jeff, it, it, you're, this time of year, you want to fish real slow, right? Yeah, you know, rule of thumb, if there's one walleye there, there's two. If there's two, there's three. And so, I got one on John, back here, And you just buddy. got one on the plastic yep. right there. <laughs> You're right, Jeff. And we've here. I can flip this one in. But uh, there we go. That's another legal wall yeah. right there, folks. Another one. And uh, yeah, oh, we look at them together there. And what's interesting too, Ed, if you want to point out some something big, had a hold of that thing recently. Look at the scars on that. Hold it real steady. So that had to be a big muskie or a big pike, huh, Ed? I reckon. Yep. And going through that same spot, folks, we're picking up one or two fish every time. You know, this is the, one of the fun things, folks, about uh, nice, oh, nice, nice fish. Right there, Jeff. And we get this in, I want to mention something. That, that'll feel like a walleye, Jeff? Yeah, and it feels like a good one. And in the fray bowl. Hey, Jeff, one of the things that I, I always tell folks about uh, why I enjoy fishing with you, and, and we're not filming a lot of the small pike and the small walleyes we're catching, you're one of the guys that have the philosophy of, of keeping the rod bending, keeping the clients catching fish. Yeah, you know, you can catch three or four big fish all day, but that's all you get. You know, I like to catch my, my fish fry material and catch as many fish as we can get. Keep that rod bending. It teaches people how to fish, and they enjoy the heck out of it. Now, do you and Ed clean the fish, too, for the folks? Yep, that's part of the service, is we clean the fish for them, package them up, and all they got to do is catch them for us. And I, I want to mention, too, you're, you guys are some of the guides that welcome young kids and families. Yes, I I've always encouraged kids in my boat. Kids can get in a whole lot less trouble catching walleyes than they can running around doing nothing. We were fishing the Willow Flowage in Oneida County, a four-hour drive from Milwaukee, five hours from Chicago, and four hours from Minneapolis. Hi, I'm Len Groom from Amsoil, and today we're talking about diesel oils. No matter if it's a turbo diesel or an over-the-road truck, we've got you covered. Whatever specs it requires, the new FA4, the new CK4, Amsoil is here for you. We've got max duty protection products that have the extended drain intervals for those of you that are interested in that. We also have a max duty product that's designed to work for the OEM drain interval of the vehicle. For, so for those of you that are interested in that, we've got you taken care of. So for more information on our diesel oils or how to save 25% on Amsoil, Oil products, check out amsoil.com. The new Acme Rattlemaster has a built in echo chamber with a brass rattle that calls fish in. The body's solid brass too and won't bend or dull and reflects fish attracting light all over the water column. This one two punch of sight and sound means you make less casts because the fish come to you. Rip it or shake it for crappie, walleye, northern salmon, or trout. And experience multi species action with just one bait. Folks, when I head out to fish, I always stock up on my favorite Baitmate fish attractants. Dale, I just put that Baitmate on, man. Baitmate offers a complete line of fish attractants and convenient spray bottles for every angler and every species of fish. They've got your bait covered. I also have the newest Baitmate delivery system in my boat, Baitmate Ultra Live Game Fish Dip. Simply flip open the lid and dip your bait for even application every time, and it's ideal for frequent cast. I, I just dipped that in the bait bait, you know that? Improve your chances of catching fish with bait mate fish attractants. It just makes sense. Oh, that was a macho hook set there, Jeff. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Cross his eyes. Yeah, no, that's the way to do it, buddy. You don't miss them. Can you smell those Johnsonville's cooking, Jeff? Uh, I can. I'm sure it is while I did. Yeah, well, that's he thumped her. Right now. <laughs> yeah, maybe the walleyes will start biting because we got the Johnsonville's going. Boy, you are getting one after another. Yeah, nice hooks it again. And, and this is interesting. These fish are off the shore in this spot. Yeah, we're finding them a little deeper. He's pulling good. Oh, that's yeah. a nice one. That's a nice a one. I need that, guys. Yep, grab that frable. 
No, that is, uh, the, we were fishing shorelines, folks, and Jeff bumped us out a little bit. And that's a nice walleye right there. Hey, Jeff, how do you like working that Minn Kota up there, buddy? You know, for being a transom mount type of trolling motor guy, yeah. this is sure easy to use. That spot lock is nice, too. I've been using that all day. So when you get a bite, you press the spot lock on the Minn Kota and we stay in the same area. Yep, and then we fish that area for a while and then I'll take it off and we'll move a little more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the boy, is he hot in the front of the boat. This walleye fishing's getting to be a spectator sport back here, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, one after another. That's another beautiful keeper there, Jeff. This is, uh, now what, we're in the middle of this bay. Is there wood out here or something, or weed? There's some scattered wood out here. And that's what, they, that's what they're hanging around, huh? Yeah, they moved off the weeds and into the wood. This is a good, almost 17 here. Yeah. Hey, want to mention too, you know, uh, uh, folks coming up north, do you have openings available June, July, August, September? Are you, are you or Ed? Yes, we always got, we can accommodate. And I use a couple other guys that have been on the show with you, like Jim Kipke. And sure. But uh, people coming up on family vacations, what I always recommend is hire a guide that first day you're up here, right? And, and learn the body of water you want to fish. Exactly. You know, when you're, you got limited time, you're up here for a week, you know, you don't want to spend five days of your six days that you're going to fish looking for them. Find out where they are first and then fish with, you know, for yeah. them, you know? And you'll show the folks the good spots. Oh, yes, yes. You know, we all, that's the name of the game. I got one too, Jeff. We got one going again. And let's see what we got here. We got, it. this looks like a, that's a little pikey there. Whoa, right there with the walleyes. Ooh, the Johnsonvilles, I can smell them cooking. Folks, today we're christening our new recon boat with our special boat grill. And we got special Johnsonvilles for us today too, Jeff. Now don't take a bite yet. I gotta tell you what these are. These are special edition Johnsonville firecracker brats. Now these, of course, are made with 100% pure pork and uh, they put some special spices in them to give them, well, just a little bit of a Kick. And these are, again, Johnsonville Firecracker Special Edition brats available for a limited time. And I like to cook them real slow on the grill until they are golden brown. These are by far the best, with a little bit of a kick. And they do have a little bit of a yes, kick, they huh? They're outstanding. Yeah, Johnsonville Firecrackers, uh, you can look for them in your local store now, and you're going to buy some, I bet, aren't you? As soon as I get home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got one up in the front there, Jeffy. I was just laying in the weeds. Okay, buddy. Another wall ski. Hey, how was that Johnsonville brought, by the way, as you're catching a walleye there? Oh, delicious. Did you like the little uh, spicy texture to that one, Jeff? Yeah, you know, I, that was really good. Well, those are the firecrackers, and that walleye is going to be a firecracker brought. Huh? Hey, you bet. That's a nice eater. Now the sun's coming out. Is that going to hurt us? Uh, not on this dark water. It shouldn't have any effect. Might even make life better. Oh, really? Yes, yes, and... Ed has had a lot of bites today, and uh, you caught a lot of fish, but... Uh, the three of them right in front of me, Jim. Oh, you, you need the net there, huh? He looks like a headbanger. All right, Eddie. There he is, and hold him up there, Ed, if you would. Thank you. Hey, well, that was cool, man. And boy, these are just really, really a lot of legals we're getting today, you know that? It's another beautiful fish for the box. Yeah. Hey, buddy, I gotta ask you. How do you like my new recon boat? Fishing, uh, we got five guys in here. It's pretty roomy, isn't it? It's really roomy. Yeah? Five guys in this boat, and there is a lot of room. What I like, too, is, you know, we get, we're all kind of heavy guys, but we get on one side of the boat, it's very stationary, isn't it? I'm very comfortable. Yeah, and I'm comfortable with you catching walleyes. I love it. Okay, Jeffy, let's see. Yeah, boy, I'll tell you what, you're hot Good on your sets today, aren't you? Yep. Oh, you are doing a good job, man. You're catching almost every bite. This is a good fish. Wow. Back up a little bit if you can there, Jeff. Boy, that's a beautiful fish there, Jeff. Two Jeffs in the front of the boat. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, hey, Jeff, seriously, we went gone through about an hour now of a slow period. Does that happen on the flowages a lot? And then they'll start going again. Yeah, you got and you got to find they move and they change as the wind goes, and you know you go got to keep following them around. 
Folks, it's time now to announce this week's winners of the Mills Fleet Farm John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2017 Fishing Contest. Kyle Ames and his son Jackson of Merrill caught this 21-inch smallmouth bass on the Wisconsin River on a thunderstick. Mike Prinson of Cedar Grove caught this 42-inch northern pike on Patton Lake on a tip-up. Lee Stadler of Two Rivers boated this 32-inch walleye in Sturgeon Bay on a live minnow. Bruce Still of Northfield, Minnesota caught this 16-inch perch on Gogebic Lake on a wiggler. And this week's kids winners are Dylan Well of Sartell, Minnesota caught this 15-inch perch on Devil's Lake on a minnow. And Jordan Burner of Wonder Lake, Illinois caught this 15-inch crappie on Wonder Lake on a two-shot. Our adult winners will receive a $25 Mills Fleet Farm gift card. Our kids' winners a Plano Tackle Box. To enter is simple. Just stop in at your favorite Mills Fleet Farm store to pick up an entry blank or go to fleetfarm.com to download an entry blank. Remember, folks, Mills Fleet Farm has everything you need for fishing, including your fishing license. Mills Fleet Farm is your fishing gear headquarters. Whoever coined the phrase, less is more, wasn't much of a fisherman. He probably talked himself into a V6 when he could have got a V8, settled for 100 horsepower instead of 250, and went home empty-handed when he should have doubled down. Introducing the Solix series. From mega imaging to auto chart live to cross touch, Solix has all of fishing's most innovative technologies on our biggest screen ever. Because more is more. Only from Hummingbird. Jeff, you and I were talking before about how dangerous both the willow foliage and the flambeau foliage can be when you're motoring. There's a lot of submerged logs, a lot of different depth changes, so people really got to be careful. Yes. You know, when you're traveling on these foliages, the safest place is to stay in the river channel. Well, one thing I love about the, the Humminbird, the Helix 12, is you can actually push a few buttons and it'll highlight the certain depth. So you can see here in the green, this is all river channel, so if you stay in that river channel you're safe yep yeah there's nothing to hit in the river channel and you can see that so clearly on the hummingbird oh, it's you? beautiful it's one of the nicest features i've ever seen in a graph ray what a great time by a hummingbird right now right yeah it's a great time and for anyone out there that buys a new helix g2n unit with side imaging by the end of may you get a free bluetooth remote control where can they get more info hummingbird.com what do you got here now Here's a hanger on her. We don't know if it's a pike or a walleye. And what do we got? This is a runner. We got ourselves, ooh, that's a nice pike. There's the, now that's the neater size right there, isn't it, Ed? Yeah, if I can get it in. Nice job there. I would have grabbed the frable for you. <laughs> but no, that now is that a neater size, Ed? Absolutely. Okay. And uh, yeah, folks, I'll tell you what, you, you leave with your three walleyes today, and how many pike can you keep? Ed, five Jeff, a man. Five a man. So guys go home with a good fish fry, right? Absolutely. We got a beauty fish fry going today. Yeah, we do. And Ryan, the photographer, he's been drooling for that fish fry all day. You going to clean his fish for him? Absolutely. Well, Jeff, we'll see. Now, you've caught a lot of fish today, man. And you got that one, too. Is that a walleye? Might be. It feels like a nicer fish. OK, cool. Definitely a netter. Boy, I'll tell you what, watching you with the oh, it's a snort. Today. It's a northern, but an eater. It's an eater northern. Ooh, that's another eater piker. Boy, yeah, he stayed on there. I thought he was going to slice you off there, Jeff. Lift her up, man. Jeff. But no, you know, one of the great things about your service is the fact that you guys that clean the fish for the folks. And uh, again, you know, with the limit of walleyes we're going to get today and throw in the pike, that's a lot of meat, isn't it? Yeah, it is. We're going to have a couple gallons of fillets before we're done cleaning here. And that's uh, for Jeff, our client today. Yep. Hey, Jeff, one question I wanted to ask you. You not only guide the flowages, but you guide a lot of other, guide a lot of other lakes up in Vilas County. And uh, you, you're a multi-species guide service, right? Yeah. You know, I, I, I know probably at least 100 waters around the area really well. And another 50 I know pretty good. And I jump around. I follow the bites. If these flowages slow down, I have lakes. There's times that I'm on the lakes because they're going good. And that's the key. And we guide all species. You know. So people can call for whether they want bluegills, crappies, muskies, walleyes. Right. That's neat. It is. It's a lot of fun. And you can beat the wind, too. Yep. You know, that's the other thing. You get on these flowages, wind can be a, a real major problem. So then you go hide on some smaller lake. Mm -hmm. I'm a firm believer in take whatever a lake wants to give you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> eater northern up here. there. Another eater pike? Yeah. 
Now, I, I can't tell the folks enough times how wonderful these are to eat. And uh, that is... A nice ear. Ooh, you'll get some nice fillets off that, won't yeah, you, Yeah, he's a fat boy. Yeah, but uh, you're one of the best at cleaning Northern Pike that I've ever seen. You're fast, <laughs> you know? And and there's no, you know all the Northern Pike I've eaten that you've cleaned? I've never had a bone, Jeff. No, uh, you know, you remember my dad. If I left a bone in the Northern, so I learned well. Yeah, and again, those are, aren't the, I think they're better than walleyes. I really do. Most people will agree. Yeah, and uh, you, boy, our other Jeff is going to have quite a fish fry. Nothing wrong with that. No, you're going to have a good time eating. Jeff Winters guides all of northern Wisconsin on a daily basis. For more information, call Jeff. That phone number is 715-385-9313, 385-9313. If you fish, chances are you've used a must-add hook. That's all we use. Mark, get him in there. Army tank there, Dale. Oh, there is a big boy. I mean, I just can't believe this, folks. Oh, let's see him, yeah. buddy. Look at that. <laughs> that 10 yeah. seconds, though, makes a big difference, buddy. Well, that one is a gorgeous fish. Is that pushing three? That's three. We're going to weigh it. Must have the world's largest manufacturer of fishing hooks. Get the point? We did. Tired of bugs wrecking your outdoor fun? Get a quick set screen tent from Clam Outdoors for shade and bug free enjoyment. The 45 second setup needs no poles to insert. It's fully assembled right out of the box. Unfold and pop up this durable shelter with high ceilings and room for a picnic table. Available in five models. Quick set is perfect for backyards, camping, or all day sporting events with the whole team. Find your quick set by Clam online or at a supporting retailer near you. Hand me the frable there, Nathan. All right, buddy. Now, is this a critical part of the fight here? Yeah, it Get always that frable out there. Get that frable out there. Look at that walleye. Look at that walleye. Dave, Dave, holy oh, moly, moly. Look at that, Folks, Jack. That, that is Jack. gorgeous. That is a big fish and a big old frable. And this is a real nice one, man. Look at that muscalunge. Yes, in the frable. That is gorgeous. I wish you had a bigger frable, man. There we got him. Oh, my gosh. Look at that fish, Dale. John, oh my look gosh, that. look at that bass. <laughs> Ooh, this one's a nice walleye. It's a nice walleye. There we go. Hey, nice hey, one. hey. Uh, folks, we have been on a walleye and a walleye slump since we had our Johnsonvilles, and there's a nice one right there, man. Jeff, it has been a great day, buddy. I think that that is our limit for four guys, yeah. you know, and uh, just a really, really gorgeous walleye. That plastic works okay, doesn't it? When they want it, they want it. Yeah, no, that's a beauty right there. And Jeff, want to mention too again that you have plenty of openings for this year? Yeah, we have openings scattered throughout the entire year. We'll be able to accommodate people if they call, no problem. Thanks, Jeff, and thanks, Ed, and we had a good day. Another great day on the water. You, with you, Jeff. you bet. And folks, that is our show for today. Please join us next week. I don't know where we're going to fish yet. We'll find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm John Gillespie, hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Hey! Can you? Yeah.